All right, I'm gonna show you how to make French press coffee. First of all, you wanna start with some good coffee. I've got French roast um, Starbucks, so it's French. You gotta have a grinder. So we just gotta take this off the top. And this thing, you turn it and it pops off. Put it in, bam. But we gotta get some coffee in there, right? So let's go ahead and we're gonna fill it up until I kind of cover all those blades. That's all you really need. I'm just making enough coffee for myself. You wanna make sure that you fold your bag up so the coffee doesn't get stale. All right, so now we just have to put this on top like that and we're just gonna grind it. And I kind of shake it. Alright let's check it out. Looks pretty good. Now you twist it this way it pops off and you're ready to go ahead and put it in your French press. All right, so here's your French press, right? All we gotta do is shove it in there. And sometimes a little, yeah, we got it, most of it out. That's great. Let's put that back and we can put that away now. All right, so we've got our coffee in our press. Now, uh, all we have to do is put our hot boiling water inside. We're gonna fill this up to use for our coffee. Okay, so I use the Sprita filter so I have nice clean water. And I've got my own tea pack, uh, kettle right here that I'm going to use. And so we're just going to pour it in here. Oops, so we got some on the stove. Put our cap back on. Shut this down so we know when it's hot. Turn on the, the uh, oven to high and just wait for the sucker to heat up. All right, so that's heating up. And while we're doing that, we're going to make some nut milk. And it takes a couple minutes for it to filter through. So we'll just leave it there until it's ready. All right, I'm going to show you how to make cashew milk with our Vitamix. So we need the cashews, and I get raw whole cashews. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour them in here until I kind of cover the blades. I keep these in the refrigerator once they're opened because they're raw cashews. They haven't been roasted, unroasted. That's what you need. They're a little expensive. You can get them on Amazon for 24 bucks for that bag. Now we got to check and see if we've got our water ready and it's not quite there yet. Should be in a minute. So I've got it on high. And we have to turn it on, which is the button down here. So you got to turn it on. When you turn it on, you're going to see a little light there. So that means that it's ready to go. All right, it looks like our water is done. And I'm not going to use all this water. I'm only going to fill it up about three inches, about that far. I think that's more than enough. Put this on top. Bam. pretty good. All right, let's take a look at it. You can see it's very creamy. See how creamy it is? Try not to get it on the floor. Set this in the sink. Let's get over here, see what's going on. Whoa, look at that. We're ready to put our hot water into our French press. And usually I just boil it just enough to almost get to the top. That's what's going to happen is it's going to, it's going to um, slide back. Now you want to turn that off so you don't burn yourself. All right. And now we just have to wait a couple minutes for this to settle. And then what we're going to do is take our top, just set it on there. 
just like that. And uh, in a minute we'll come back and we will plunge that bad boy. Over here, nut milk is ready. Looks pretty good. Now you could filter this, but um, usually I don't. I've, I just put it in something like this right here. Let's pull this back a little bit so you can see it. You can see it's delicious. Now this lasts for about two or three days, max. All right. And it looks good, doesn't it? I mean, that looks pretty tasty. All right, so let's grab a, let's get a cup. We need a cup. All right, we do not want to waste our cashew nut milk that we just made. So I'm going to pour it in here and make, a, make me a delicious latte. Put this in the sink. All right now, let's plunge our, let's plunge our coffee. I like a little cinnamon on mine. So let's go ahead and push this down. All right, now we got to plunge it. See how if you give yourself a couple minutes, you can plunge it easier. The two places that I had the best coffee ever was uh, Four Seasons in Paris and in Italy. And this, I got this cup in Italy. Oops, I screwed. Look, oh I already made a mess. Let's clean up our mess. All right, the best coffee ever was in Paris and in Italy. This cup comes from Italy. Bam, done. Now I'm just gonna top it off with a little cinnamon. Bam, looking good. All right, let's taste this bad boy, huh? What do you guys think? All right, let's give this the taste test. Mmm, good. Delicioso. All right, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel and check out my other awesome videos where I show you how to do stuff like make coffee. Peace out.